so with the Taurus Telium, you will be quite the peaceful, easygoing person. You can be a little bit traditional and old-fashioned as well. You have an ability to remain calm when things are in chaos around you and when people are losing their minds and going crazy, you can stay calm, cool and collected. You're probably very good at damage and crisis control. So when things have basically turned into chaos around you, you know how to pick up the pieces and build the structure back up again. You can be a very resourceful person when it comes to this. Now the thing is with the Taurus Stelium, there's two ways that things can go. You can either be the kind of person who's quite obsessed with money and acquiring material possessions and material wealth. Because Taurus is the sign that represents material wealth and it also represents awareness of your material possessions. So with such a massive concentration in Taurus, you can have very strong awareness of these things and these things are exceptionally important to you. The other way it can go is you can be a very big nature lover. So you could possibly be very, very connected and attuned to the earth and you could love living a natural way of life and you could love farming and gardening. Generally, a person with a Taurus stelium either uses their exceptional awareness of the physical world to build their own riches or they use their awareness of the physical world to nurture the actual world around them. The only thing with the Taurus Stelium is that you're not really a risk taker. So you like the tried and tested way of doing things and you like the comfortable way of doing things and staying in your comfort zone because you know it's going to work and you're not going to be dealing with crises and crazy situations. One thing about a Taurus Stelium though is it is the opposite sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is the sign of connection, deep soul connection, as well as sexual connection. So if you have a stelium in Taurus, which is the opposite of Scorpio, there can also be somewhat of a issue when it comes to connecting with a person or with people in a deep way, especially in a sexual way. Because you're so aware of the material reality, you're so aware of the physical reality, that it's a bit difficult for you to connect with what is unseen, which is represented by Scorpio. So the way that you show your love and your affection is through providing and it's through giving material things. There can be somewhat of a struggle when it comes to connecting in a more deep, profound, soul-to-soul -soul level with another person. Because the way that you show your love and your affection is through giving stuff and giving money and providing for the person you care about. 